Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. Yes, I know we're a little bit behind. We have been extremely busy. I want to wish you guys happy holidays. I know that we're quickly approaching the holiday season and I hope you guys are doing amazing. This reading is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let me put this. You guys, I've been so freaking busy all day doing consultations. I'm just now recording and... Um, I took some time in between the, in between the videos to actually eat, you know, but anyways, let's get into your reading, Leo. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Let me put this. All right. Let's see what's going on with my Leos. Your first card here is the six of pentacles. You have the magician, the eight of cups. Where are you going? And the four of swords. Okay. These are your cards. The cards of your partner, person of interest, judgment card, king of wands, five of pentacles, and the nine of pentacles. All right. All right, Leo. I see you guys being very empowered. You're going to start to feel like, like people are really noticing you guys, even if you're trying not to get attention. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be that, uh, especially those of you guys that have been single for quite a while. Um, I see people really gravitating towards you. There may be a secret admirer around you or a person that is very interested in you, uh, but they're in the shadows. They're not making it known or they're not really coming towards you, but I do see them finally starting to approach you probably the beginning of December. Now with the six of pentacles, there is a give and take type of energy. And I think that this is something that, uh, this is how you're viewing the situation. Uh, so it could be that you're feeling like the relationship is very balanced right now. It's a give and take. Uh, with the magician, it's like you're finally starting to see things progress in a positive way. Uh, with the eight of cups, I see you guys walking towards the four of swords. Um, so for some of you guys, this could represent taking some time, uh, taking some time to kind of figure out where you want to go with this connection, with this relationship. I see you guys more internalizing. This is, um, it, it almost seems to me like when you've been hoping or praying for something to happen and the universe finally gives it to you and you're kind of doubting the process, or you're doubting even if at this point in your life, that's what you want. Um, because I do see, you know, with the Four of Swords, this is like uh, communication that could kind of, you know, took a, a back. Um, yeah, but it's, I'm not feeling that. What I'm seeing with the Four of Swords is this is you internalizing. This is you taking time for yourself, checking on yourself, making sure you're good. For some of you guys, it could be that you've had to learn to prioritize, to make yourself a priority um, and stop putting other people before you or stop, you know, stop putting your partner, uh, their needs before your own. And it's like, you know, am I really happy um, the way things are going? And if they're not, what is it that I need to do to change the situation because I'm not going to continuously keep, you know, doing, doing and them not reciprocating that type of energy. But I do see that if you've been dealing with that, that's quickly going to be changing because you do have the six of pentacles coming in. So again, six of pentacles is balance. It is about giving and taking. It's about if you have a tendency of overdoing what spirit is telling you, you need to stop overdoing and allow the partner to be the one to step up and do their part. Now, the way your partner is viewing the situation, they've made a decision. They've made a decision about you here with the King of Wands and the Five of Pentacles, almost as if, for some of you guys, it could actually be that there was uh, some, you know, communication that stopped. For some of you guys, there could have been some type of blockage um, or they could have, you know, blocked you or you could have blocked them. Uh, and they made the decision to walk away from this situation or this behavior when we're talking about um, there's something that they're trying to tell me 
And I feel that for some of you guys, it's going to connect very differently. For, for some of you guys, I see the scenario of being very empowered and knowing exactly what it is that you want, and you're not going to settle for anything less. And you're not going to bite your tongue either. You're going to be very vocal about what you're expecting. I see a person from the past coming back around trying to communicate with you, but I feel like you're closing them off or you're choosing to love yourself. You're choosing to put you and your needs before anyone else's at this point. The nine of pentacles is all about loving or embracing your singlehood or embracing the need to nurture and love yourself. And I see you guys being very empowered. And I think that when, if you've been dealing with the person that's been very inconsistent in your life, the moment you start putting your energy and your focus back on yourself, it's like they're going to start to melt for you. And the reason for that is because they, they no longer feel like they can, you know, like they can even manipulate you into coming back. It's like the moment you take your power back, it's like they start to do the things you wanted them to do from the very beginning. Um, and it's a feeling of losing you because we have the five of pentacles here. They definitely don't want to lose you. Um, and they're seeing you very empowered. So take it back to you, Leo. For now, all the way till December, what they're telling you is work on yourself. Focus on your, make yourself a priority. Because... If your partner truly loves you, they're going to encourage you, right? They're going to encourage you to be more about you and taking care of yourself. And they're going to love the fact that you're empowered. And if it's people that you've been dealing with, that it's been up and down and you're not sure where you stand, the moment you put your focus and energy towards yourself, that's the moment they come back around and they're like, hey, Leo, you know, I'm so sorry. I was going through a lot, you know. It was very difficult, but, you know, I'm willing to try and don't rush into this. Don't rush. If it's a person coming back from the past, don't rush into that connection. Be empowered the whole time, Leo, because what they're telling you here is with the nine of pentacles, you have to take it back to believing in yourself, being confident in yourself. Don't let anyone shake you. If this has been a relationship that has been going on for quite a while now, or if in fact you are still dealing with an ex-partner and you just can't seem to shake them off because you still love them and you were hopeful, I feel that in December, you're going to be all about you, Leo. And you're going to notice this person coming back, this person trying to reach out, this person trying to get your attention, even trying to make you jealous. That's if they're not already doing that, but because they're wanting to get some type of reaction from you. Um, now, for those of you guys that uh, are currently in a serious committed relationship, what they're telling you here is, again, it's very important for you to take it back to yourself, Leo. Take care of yourself. Stop self-sacrificing yourself to make other people happy. This is including your children. This is including you, um, family members, relatives, your partner. You know, a lot of the times uh, when you're in a relationship, you're so focused and committed in them and you're, you know, so concerned about being what they want that you kind of forget about yourself. And what they're telling you is, Make it about yourself. It's not selfish to put yourself first. Sometimes it's necessary. All right. So let's see what Spirit's message is for you. Spirit, what is the direct message for Leos based on this situation? What is the direct message for Leos, Spirit, in regards to this situation and their love life? Let's see one more. Okay. We have Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. I Yeah, I, there's this thing about Leo's presence. You guys never go unnoticed, no matter where you go. But the moment that, you know, your confidence is shaken a little bit or there's a feeling of, you know, rejection or there's a feeling of they weren't willing to meet you halfway, it's almost like there's this, you feel so offended, then you feel sad then you feel like, is it me? What did I do wrong? You know, it, it's they shake your confidence. And what they're telling you here is no girl or boy, take your power back. Take your power back. Know your worth. Do you. 
do you and when they see you doing you, that's when they come back around. And to be honest, if that's what it takes for them to notice you or to want to put effort when they feel that they're about to lose you, you know, I would just be like, you done lost me already. But, you know, to each their own, <laughs> if this is a connection that you really have been wanting to manifest or have been wanting to work through, you know, focus on yourself, Leo. When you're empowered, when you're working and putting yourself as a priority, you're teaching others how to treat you. All right. All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share and comment and we'll see each other soon. Bye.